All right, this video is for Final Cut Pro users, and uh, the purpose of the video is to show what to do when you're filming with a green screen and the person you film shows up with a semi-green shirt. Not an overtly green shirt, but a semi-green shirt. And then you go to take out that green screen background and the person's shirt kind of disappears. Um, so this is not actually a video on how to use a green screen necessarily, so I'm gonna go quickly through that. Um, that process and just show you what I did to make it look semi-decent in a quick fashion. have to have this video done by Sunday. I don't have a lot of time to research and uh, do anything weird. So uh, to, to make this quick, uh, first thing you want to do is of course add the keyer, which is in the effects on the right hand side. Just throw it out in there real quick. And uh, then you see that it goes, you know, semi-black, gray-ish. And that person's shirt would be fine just like this if uh, those weren't holes in her shirt because now when I put a background down uh, that she kind of blends in with the background so just for fun I'll just show you what it looks like just dragging the background down and uh, now you can see that it's kind of translucent and it's just not a not a good image so to clean that up a little bit first thing I did I got to click on the actual clip uh, go out to the upper right and this uh, make sure you're on the video setting here and go to fill holes on the keyer uh, so make sure you click on the key here, fill holes, drag that all the way to the right. And what that does is take all the holes, the little black things that were in her shirt, and fills them in. So it doesn't produce the green color that was there before, but it fills it in so it's solid and it's not going to be part of the background anymore. Um, now, if you notice, uh, there's some weird stuff going on in the corner. So you got like this little, um, these little holes and stuff that show up underneath the... Uh, her arm there, it's not a solid black, it's actually like a gray. And that moves around, oh, let me hit play here. And you can see that it's like fluttering black. So the, the way to get rid of this um, that I found real quick is, um, I never use this except for now, this uh, background. If you go up here to the backgrounds and the title, go down to textures and then pull down gradient. I'm gonna pull that down here. Okay, now you notice the automatic colors are blue, and it shows even more prominently that uh, weird little floaty gray stuff. Well, with the cool thing with gradient is you can kind of blend colors, and it looks decent. So uh, make sure you click on the background, go into the upper right corner again, and uh, you can see I'm on the number there. Um, then I'm going to change the top to complete white. And then this one here, I'm going to go down into the black area, and watch as I drag my mouse across, you can watch the color blending with those holes. And I just went until it's basically gone. And then I click, and now I've got a pretty decent background. It's not amazing, but it looks natural now. So even though the green is gone from her shirt, uh, it, it looks like a decent picture. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna use this for throughout the video and, and uh, so I hope that this is helpful for you if you're in a pinch don't have a lot of time to mess with things and someone shows up with a green shirt and a green screen uh, hopefully it makes it a little faster process for you